Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. February 14th, Faultless in Christ's Perfection. Now unto Him that is able to keep, able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of His glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Faultless in Christ's perfection. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. Pardon and justification are one and the same thing. Through faith, the believer passes from the position of a rebel, a child of sin and Satan, to the position of a loyal subject of Christ Jesus, not because of an inherent goodness, but because Christ receives him as his child by adoption. The sinner receives the forgiveness of his sins because these sins are born by his substitute and surety. The Lord speaks to his heavenly father, saying, This is my child. I reprieve him from the condemnation of death, giving him my life insurance policy, eternal life, because I have taken his place and have suffered for his sins. He is even my beloved son. Thus, man pardoned and clothed with the beautiful garments of Christ's righteousness stands faultless before God. It is the Father's prerogative to forgive our transgressions and sins because Christ has taken upon himself our guilt and reprieved us, imputing to us his own righteousness. His sacrifice satisfies fully the demands of justice. Many feel that their faults of character make it impossible for them to meet the standard that Christ has erected. But all that such ones have to do is to humble themselves at every step under the mighty hand of God. Christ does not estimate the man by the amount of work he does, but by the spirit in which the work is performed. When he sees men lifting the burdens, trying to carry them in lowliness of mind, with distrust of self and with reliance upon him, he adds to their work his perfection and sufficiency, and it is accepted of the Father. We are accepted in the Beloved. The sinner's defects are covered by the perfection and fullness of the Lord our righteousness. Those who, with sincere will, with contrite heart, are putting forth humble efforts to live up to the requirements of God, are looked upon by the Father with pitying, tender love. He regards such as obedient children, and the righteousness of Christ is imputed unto them. Our High Calling, February 15th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.